this is an opportunity for us to showcase, talk about Rwanda's product, culture and traditions. Uh, Gorilla coffee that's already being sold. Ambassador, how are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Leo. Thank you for having me. My name is James Kimonyo. I'm the ambassador of Rwanda. His frequent appearances on live streams have made Ambassador James Kimonyo a well-known figure in China. He uses the online platform to promote specialty products from his home country of Rwanda. I want to make sure that the public understands that we are here as the bridge. This is a dance that we perform every day whenever we have a, a big celebration, festivals, we, we perform that dance. Back in his landlocked East African homeland, the dance steps are highly energetic. Rwanda, with its beautiful mountainous landscape, is known as the Land of the Thousand Hills. Its national treasure, the endangered mountain gorillas, attract visitors from all over the world. North of the capital, Kigali, lies Ruli Mountain, a vast area of coffee plantations. Rwandan coffee is noted for its unique flavor, a product of its high-altitude environment and volcanic soil. One out of every 30 Rwandans is a coffee farmer. Until recently, incomes were meager. Because being landlocked, Rwanda primarily only exported raw coffee beans. On while in Rwanda, President Xi witnessed the signing of multiple bilateral cooperation agreements, including some relating to the Belt and Road Initiative. His visit brought good news for Rwanda's coffee farmers. Back in 2018, when His Excellency President Xi Jinping visited Rwanda, uh, 15 bilateral cooperation agreements were signed, and uh, one of those agreements was e-commerce, which gives the opportunity and a very successful state visit. After three months after the President Xi visited Rwanda, the EWTP was launched, which is really so fast, it's really incredible. In November 2018, Gorilla's Coffee from Rwanda made its debut at the first China International Import Expo. Under the Belt and Road Digital Economic Cooperation Initiative agreed by the two countries, Rwandan coffee could enter the Chinese market directly without the need for intermediaries in the sales process. This meant that Rwanda's coffee farmers earned four US dollars more for every kilogram of coffee beans they sold. A year after President Xi Jinping's visit to Rwanda, James Kimonyo arrived in China as Rwandan ambassador. It was exciting for me to be next to a very uh, important leader in the world. So when I came here, I saw extraordinary transformation that has uh, taken place in this great nation. And I was curious uh, to know how uh, this transformation happened. And I chose to read the first book that was authored by His Excellency President Xi. The title is Up and Out of Poverty. Kimonio hopes to learn from China's experience in development and poverty reduction. He is committed to promoting cooperation and exchange between China and Rwanda. During the pandemic, he began live streaming as a way of promoting Rwandan agricultural produce. This gave him first-hand experience of the vitality of China's digital economy. The first one was in Hangzhou, and we were surprised that the products were moving very fast. A few seconds. The, the goods are sold out. Wow, wow. Uh, digital economy is becoming very important in the world. We need to, uh, technologies to be able to reach the market easier than the conventional way. Then you are increasing 
you know, expanding the opportunity for the farmers to be able to sell their products. In the 10 years since the Belt and Road Initiative was proposed, China has been active in helping countries in Africa, including Rwanda, to embrace the digital economy. In November 2021, at the 8th Ministerial Conference of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, President Xi Jinping announced the Digital Innovation Program, one of nine programs aimed at boosting China-Africa cooperation. The Digital Silk Road, by facilitating connectivity for Africa, is transforming the continent. A highlight of the third China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo held in the summer of 2023 was an online shopping festival featuring a wide array of products from 29 African countries. At the Rwanda booth, Ambassador Kimonio introduced a special chili sauce. Rwanda's chili goes up to 300,000 uh, SHU, meaning it's the one of, if not the, the spiciest uh, type of chili in the world. Our chili has become very, very popular. A key figure behind the launch of the chili sauce in China was a Rwandan called Hermit, who, in 2019, obtained a doctorate from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. After returning to Rwanda, he promoted the development of digital agriculture. By adopting an order-based system and scaling up chili production, farmers saw their incomes increase fivefold. I'm a witness and a beneficiary of friendship between both country, China and Rwanda. One Belt and Road policy has brought more opportunities based on the mutual and win-win cooperation between both countries. The Belt and Road Initiative is an exceptional and, in my view, extraordinary opportunity. Uh, really, I have to say, in the last 10 years, we have been there. Uh, uh, benefiting from this initiative because we need infrastructure, we need to be connected more and China is a very, very important partner in this respect. 70% of Rwanda's roads have been built by Chinese companies. In 2022, with support from the Belt and Road Initiative, this densely populated landlocked country achieved a remarkable 8.2% growth in GDP, making it one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. China uh, seeks to understand our view and uh, want to support what we are doing by understanding what we want. That's why I said there is a collaboration, there is understanding of each other, there is a mutual respect, if you will. We are happy to say that uh, uh, the things that he committed when he was in Rwanda, we were all fully and successfully implemented. So because of that, uh, I feel so motivated to continue doing uh, what I do, uh, which is uh, uh, ensuring and nurturing the friendship between our two countries.